Glory to God. Oh, I feel the anointing so strong. I feel the anointing so strong. I feel the anointing so strong. Let's do a quick Bible study. It's going to be a real blessing to you. I should be sitting down and work my heart out tonight. <laughs> Shoot. Hey, 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 hey. All right. The Bible says, serve the Lord with your strength, your youth. I'm doing that, baby. I'm doing it. I'm doing it and doing it and doing it wild. I'm doing it and doing it. I'm using all this energy, all this testosterone for Jesus. All these young men smoking and doing all this stuff. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting smoked up for Jesus. I'm done drunk tonight. I'm done high. I'm high like you never know, understand, baby. I don't feel like I'm on cloud 19. I'm not in on cloud nine. I'm on cloud 19. Oh, Jesus, I feel like, I feel like I'm about to explode. The glory of God so hot right now. Something about to happen. Watch it pop. Watch it pop in 72 hours. Watch it pop in 72 hours. I, I'm, not, I'm not playing saints. I'm underneath a strange anointing right now. It's a strange anointing. You know why it's strange? Because it's not common to man. It's not the usual. Praise on it for what God about to do. How Something about to happen, Papa. Watch! Watch!
my God. Look at this here. All right, so we dealing with this. My God. My God. My, Proverbs chapter 20. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 12. Look at this. Proverbs 20, 12. It says, the hearing ear and the seeing eye. The Lord has made even both of them. The hearing ear and the seeing eye. This text is so profound because the Holy Spirit ministered to me lastly in this last service and said that the hearing ear and the seeing eye, these are both invisible abilities that bring visible results. The hearing ear, this is not my hearing ear. And this is not my seeing eye. These are both dimensions of discipline, self-control, loyalty to King Jesus. These are both areas where you have to lay down your life to receive God's will. You got to lay aside your urges. You got to lay aside people that's pulling on you and talking about, come on, let's hang out. Let's chill out. I'm coming. No, don't come no more. We put a blue spirit on you. Hallelujah. Look what it says right here. The hearing eye and the seeing eye. The Lord has made even both. The Lord has made even both. Look what it says here. These are impartations from the Holy Spirit. The seeing eye. The hearing ear. God gives you this. And you have to protect it with your life. If you don't love the Lord. Even though he gave you a hearing ear. And a seeing eye. It'll fall by the wayside. There are spirits that are assigned from Satan to target this hearing ear, this seeing eye. And you got to combat those spirits correctly, not by flesh, by consistency. Your consistency protects your, your hearing ear to only hear what the spirit is saying to you. Not what the spirit is saying to I don't want to hear about no, no Tia Lowry. I respect so many of these men of God, but I, I won't allow nobody to talk about them in front of me because I don't want to hear that revelation. Saints, if you ever meet a man of God like me, I'm very different. I got the highest confidence level you ever going to meet, but I don't let certain stuff get in my system. I don't want to hear that God told him to, to, to do something and that, 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 because God ain't telling me that. So why I need to know? Why I need to know, why in the heebie-bejeebie do I need to know what God told you if God ain't telling me that? That's the spirit of stupid. God tells somebody to lay on their side for 50 days. You gonna go read about them laying on their side for 50 days? I don't wanna know what you, I don't know, I don't, I don't what that got to do with me? I'm not, I, God ain't telling me to lay on my side for 50 days, so wh why am I getting out of this? I ain't getting nothing out of this. All I'm getting out is frustrating the grace of God that's on me. And that's what so many people do. They got so much knowledge that they can't even receive the knowledge that God wants them to have. You start talking to people about the glory, they're talking about it's the Shekinah. Is the Shekinah? I'm not talking about no Shekinah. You heard about Shekinah because you've been in church all your life. You, you, you see what I'm saying? That spirit that keeps on learning, knowledge puffs up. And so that spirit that keeps on getting knowledge is people got all type of books in their house about fasting and praying and all type of stuff. You, baby, you, you might as well just tell the Lord, stop talking to me because you, you, you done read everything possible. 
Oh, how to pray. Ba baby, if your prayers were so powerful, you would be able to pray for everybody around you and everybody would get healed at your workplace, all that stuff. So, so, so you got so much knowledge. You meet people like that all the time. Go look at their library. They got all type of books, all type of stuff. And none of the stuff, none of the stuff you can visibly see. Now, they can tell you that they operate in it. They can tell you that, but you don't see it. You don't see it. I don't care what they say. They say that they see, they do it, do it, do it, do it. You don't see it. You got to protect your hearing ear and seeing an eye. Apostle Paul said, I know about all these different religions. I know. But look what Jesus did to him. Knocked him down. Do you think Jesus told him, hey, 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 I know you know about some Judean. I know you know about all this stuff. Come on, let's just have a discussion. That stuff don't mean nothing to God. It's not a part of his assignment. Stop learning stuff that's not a part of the season that you're in. Stop learning stuff that's not a part of the season you're in. You're not in that season, so why are you learning it? It's the spirit of dumb. Stick with kingdom and you won't have to stand in the spirit of them. Stick with kingdom. You know how many people I was going to hire them before? In my ministry, I've had sons that I was about to hire them. I've had daughters I was about to hire them. I said, I ain't hiring them. You, know, you, know, man, you talk to them about two hours, they're going to mess up your anointing. I don't want to hear nothing about no Captain Kuhlman. Cap Captain Kuhlman wished that she could see what we see here. You think that God was moving 50 years ago the same way he's moving now? We in the last days. That's the problem. People keep on trying to pick up the old wineskin. God not trying to pour out new wine and old wineskin. That's the old wineskins. Old wineskins is not just sinners. These are old wineskins, meaning that wine did used to go there. There was wine going inside of that skin. So this wasn't people that was just utterly in sin. No, these were people that was receiving wine. But it's old. Behold, I do a new thing. Even God was telling Isaiah, I don't want you to look at Jeremiah. I don't want you to look at Ezekiel. Behold, I do a new thing. I don't want you to look at Adam. I don't want you to look at Abraham. Behold, I do a new thing. I'm telling you how to protect the hearing eye, the hearing ear, the seeing eye. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you. The hearing ear means that this is the gospel God wants you to hear. Not the gospel that you choose to pick. Not the gospel that you don't sought out. The hearing ear is the gospel that God has scheduled for your life. This is what you need to hear. Some of y'all are going to find out that God wasn't in all the stuff that you was doing. You're reading all these books. You're listening to all these CDs. You're doing all type of religious stuff. You're wasting your time, baby. It ain't bringing you no anointing. You're not going further with God. You're wasting your doggone time. Do you want the creator of the universe to tell you what he like and so that you can get some results or you just want to do stuff in vanity, stuff that's in insanity? It ain't doing nothing for you. I don't know about you, but why would I want to do a decision that ain't going to bring me no reward from God? If God not going to pat me on my back and say I did a good job, why do I want to do it? I encourage some of you all to start asking God that. Because you're not there yet. You're not there yet. You're not there yet. Spirit of God told me, he said, son, come on here and, and say, say what I tell you to say. You're not there yet. I pray that you pray some real prayers and ask the Lord, is, is, is what I'm doing pleasing to you? Do you want me to do all this? 
Take me out of Martha and bring me into Mary. Let me sit at your feet and do, do, do. Let me do what is only pleasing to you. Take me out of all this other stuff that I'm doing and let me only do what you want me to do. I don't want the other stuff. What is this stuff that I'm doing? I'm wasting my time. There's anointings that I'm supposed to walk in personally that I'm depriving myself of the anointing because I'm not listening to what you want. I'm, I'm doing all this stuff and saying, oh Lord, this is my righteousness. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm keeping myself. I'm walking. I'm occupying. I'm doing this. I don't want to do that. Saints, do you know how I got anointed? I wasn't doing what people in their books say. I wasn't doing what they did. You know how I started seeing angels? I went listening to people. I went face to face with Jesus. Father, I want to do what you like. Teach me to do only what you enjoy. Not what I have the power to do. Not what's accessible to me in my reach. Not what I can choose to enjoy. It's not about me. I want to do what you like because I had a hearing ear and a seeing eye. I'm still that way today. 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 Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 says the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Your eye has been your problem your whole life. Your eye is out of control oftentimes. Your eye. It says that if your eye be single, if your eye be single, a lot of people's eyes are married. And that's why you can't operate as Mary. It says if your eye be single, your eye never supposed to get married. When your eye get married, you leave your first love. You leave Jesus. You leave what he want. You leave the instruction. You leave his commands. You leave his rules. Your eye never supposed to get married. He said, if your eye be single, then your whole body shall be full of light. Look what it's telling you there. It's telling you that you have to break off all these covenants that your eyes have. Did you know that your eyes create covenants? You know, being single, being married, all that covenants. He said, if your eye be single, then your whole body going to be full of light. Meaning that you're going to be full of the revelation of what I want from you. Are you catching this? It means that you're going to be full of my ideas. You're going to be full of the behavior I want, the words I want you to speak, the thoughts I want you to think, the people I want you to talk to, the people I don't want you to talk to. You're going to be full of clarity. You're going to be full of clarity. You're going to be full of clarity. You're not going to be guessing. You're not going to be worried about, is this the will of God? You're going to know. But you got to do the part. For your eye to be single. That's your job. That's not God's job. You got to make your eye single. It said that you're going to be full of light. What happened in Genesis? He said that. Let there be light. This is what he penetrated the natural realm with. So when he said that you shall be full of light. That means that you shall have the authority. To penetrate the earth realm. 
Not being corrupted by the system, the customs, the traditions, but you're going to be able to penetrate the earth system with the image of God. Shh, shh, I got to go, man. I got to go. Keep on going all day. Ay, 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 ay.